Yeah, we definitely saw that, and uh, just here behind me, that's what I got, you know, up, looking at those stats from that tornado. So uh, the stats are pretty impressive when you actually look at it. We're talking about a tornado that was actually uh, over 500 yards or about 500 yards wide, which is about five football fields. So pretty impressive there. It was on the ground for only two minutes and traveled two miles, a little bit more than two miles. So moving at a forward motion of about 60 miles an hour, uh, and this did happen at about 245, lasting only until about 247, 248. So definitely a uh, quick tornado that caused a lot of damage as you saw uh, throughout our coverage and uh, just crazy that it grew to that size so quickly uh, with peak winds of about 125 miles an hour which is equivalent to category 3 hurricane strength. As far as looking at outside of our studios, uh, it's become very very foggy. You guys have actually watched this if you've been with us over the past hour develop. So a very foggy start across portions of Augusta, uh, in particular along the Savannah River corridor which we're not too far from the Savannah River here at our station off of Riverwatch Parkway. Elsewhere though you can see we're doing pretty good with the fall situation area wide, so not looking at too much dense fog widespread. Current temperatures are in the 30s for most of us. We do find Augusta, of course, being the cold spot, uh, but outside of that, most of us are in those 30s for this morning, so it is a cold start and the winter jacket will be needed. As far as winds, those are on the calmer side to very light in nature out of the east primarily. We are going to see wind speeds, though, picking up as our next storm system does begin to move in. So we'll see wind gusts getting over 30 miles an hour for today. And then even for the first half of your Saturday, we could see these winds stay over 25 miles an hour for gusts. So it'll be a very breezy start to your Saturday and also chilly as well for tomorrow. As far as wind alerts, though, we do have a wind advisory in effect until tomorrow morning for the entire area, pretty much, except for these counties underneath the jurisdiction of the National Weather Service in Charleston. As far as looking at that first alert for today, though, it is uh, just a first alert. So no longer a first alert weather day. We're talking about an isolated tornado being possible, severe wind gusts around 60 miles an hour. Rainfall total is not too impressive, so that flash flood threat does stay pretty low. And then quarter size hail looks possible, as well as general wind gusts over 30 miles an hour, as I showed you with this system. As far as the severe outlook, we do have a level two out of five risk for severe weather today. So it's a slight risk, uh, not quite that enhanced risk that we did have, and that is why we have scaled back. But tornadoes and damaging winds are the main concerns. Hail is also a concern for today. And and that flash flood threat again, very limited to none. But here's a look at the system that we are tracking back towards the Great Plains in the middle of the country, believe it or not, even though it is going to impact us by this afternoon and portions of tonight. So a very quick moving system. You can see some rainfall ahead of it and also some snow on the back side of that area of low pressure. We are going to see cloud cover continue to build for us today as we head towards midday. The potential for some scattered showers and storms does look to be there, but some of us could be drier around midday. As we head closer to about 2, 3, and 4 p.m., that's when our severe threat could be to materialize and if we do see severe storms actually develop that's where that tornadic risk and also damaging wind uh, threat would lie as well as the potential for maybe some hail as we continue towards your Friday evening we'll see those uh, still isolated and maybe more discrete cells which are more concerning for that tornadic threat uh, develop ahead of that main cold front and you can see temperatures in the 60s and then we'll see that front pushing through with temperatures quickly falling behind it and also seeing conditions improving heading into our Saturday and Sunday MLK day into Tuesday rainfall does build back in and look at high temperatures only in the 40s by Tuesday and Wednesday and those lows down towards the low 20s.